Welcome to EHS Nights News. I'm Ben. And I'm Sai. Over the past month, there has been an ongoing out-of-school activity called Senior Assassination. Max and Michael have the story. This is Max. And Michael. Reporting on Senior Assassin for EHS Nights News. Senior Assassin is an out-of-school event where students have to assassinate their targets that they are given with water guns. How did you prepare for the kill with Amari? Uh, I, uh, you know, a lot of planning. It wasn't easy to hide at his house because there's no trees or bushes, so it made it difficult to get him, but just a lot of planning and stalking, I guess. Right. How far do you see yourself going? Uh, I see myself going all the way. We're pretty close, you know. It's really hard for like a month straight. You can't really get caught outside, hanging out with friends, and you have to be... You gotta learn not to trust anybody. Yep, and what was the going through your mind in the last mission? Uh, last mission, I had to, I had to get him. Uh, I thought that was like my last goal, or like, not goal, um, last chance to get him, because he never leaves the house, and so it was kind of perfect, and I ended up getting him. My plan was to, I mean, he's pretty good at it, so there's no way I was going to get him at his house. So I had to, like, set him up and, like, trick him. So that's how I got him. Right. Who are you most <laughs> afraid of in round two? Um, most afraid of, I mean, honestly, anyone, because everyone's, like, pretty good at it. So. What's your strategy for the rest of the round? Um, my strategy is probably to go off, like, go try to get my person, like, early. Then I can just, like, chill and try to like play defense, kind of stay home. How far do you see yourself going? Um, I actually don't know. Hopefully pretty far, but we'll see. What's How far do you see yourself going in senior assassination? I'm really hoping to make it to the third round, but anything past that, I really don't know. All right, who are you most afraid of? I think Sophia. She's like, has the most kills right now. She's been on a roll. She's right. pretty scary. How does playing a sport affect senior assassination? Uh, it's honestly fine. It keeps me safe for a couple extra hours because you can't get anyone on school grounds or during sports. So, yeah. This is Brian and Fred for EHS Nights News. The opening night players just performed their last play of this year. Here is Ben with the story. From May 5th to the 6th, the Ellington High School's opening night players held their final play of the year, titled The Flurry, written by Ryland Fisher. Here are the highlights of the performance. This is Adrian Seeker, who went on an adventure to find his best friend Darren on a cursed island. So... 
loose. Midnight special. Shine ever loving light on me. Wife. In the end, he is found by the Coast Guard and is safely brought back home, sadly without his friend. I think... I think I'm going to be okay. How did you think the play went? Uh, I think the play went pretty well. The actors did a very good job, and the Czech also did a really good job, and overall it flowed really well. Do you think that they were prepared? I think that OKP was very prepared. The actors did knew their lines very well, and we barely finished the set in time, but it, it looked really good in the end. Did the community enjoy the show? I think the community really did enjoy the show. Even though it was only for audiences 13 and up, a lot of people still came. Overall, everyone enjoyed the performance. This is Sai Kapu reporting for EHS Nights News. Recently, there's been a debate on whether TikTok should be banned or not. Here's the story. Hello, I'm Ava Sakandi here with EHS Nights News. And recently, we interviewed people around the school asking if they think TikTok should be banned in the U.S. or not. I don't think it should be banned. <laughs> Um, I don't think that TikTok should be banned because I don't see what harm it really does. So I think that TikTok should not be banned because lots of creators use it as a way to publicize their businesses or just a way to show creativity in their lives. So I think TikTok is both good and bad. Um, the good could be that it is entertaining and it can introduce a lot of uh, learning for students, especially I like the how-tos. Um, as for the negatives, <laughs> um, I find that it can maybe be potentially um, riskful as for like security um, and our, us posting too much as for information for others to view. I don't think TikTok should be banned because even though there's like a privacy issue or whatever or they're trying to get it banned, there's also like a user agreement that you should read and like understand the terms and conditions and things like that. I don't think TikTok should be banned because it gives you something time to do, like if you're bored and it's just an entertaining way to catch up on news, I guess. Uh, I don't think TikTok should be banned because I like to go on it when I'm bored. I do not think TikTok should be banned. I think it's a good way for um, teens or anyone to express themselves. I think there could be a privacy issue on this app, but if someone is willing to be okay with that, then they should be able to, to use the app. Um, so I think that if TikTok is a security risk, it should be banned. And if it isn't, then it shouldn't. I think TikTok's bad because it's making people spend too much time on their phones. I don't think TikTok should be banned, but I think that they should put more like restrictions on it and they should be more kind of strict with the app because it's supposed to be aimed more towards children and like 13 and up, but a lot of the content on there is not age appropriate at all and these kids are like kind of growing up too fast in a sense because they're getting exposed to this whole different side of social media that they didn't even know about besides like, I don't know, what's a child, a child age appropriate show? Like Victorious or like... I don't know, some middle school stuff. <laughs> I think TikTok should be banned because a lot of kids waste their time on it and it like hurts people physically and mentally. Okay, I don't think TikTok should be banned because I think it's a really good way for people like all over the world to communicate and you can learn a lot of like really important things on there and like safety information and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think TikTok should be banned since it's a violation of our First Amendment rights to free speech. Okay, so I don't think that TikTok should be banned. Yes, it is very influential. Um, I think that like there's a lot of comparison that goes on. Um, and you know it can lower people's self-esteem. But I also think that it's used for good. Like you can look at like recipes and like you know, like just stuff that you can learn from it. So I don't think it should be banned. After hearing these opinions, here are some demographics. You may be wondering how popular TikTok really is. It is the fifth most popular out of 130 social media apps, 
One billion people worldwide use TikTok, and 135 million of those users are in the U.S., making the U.S. the number one country that uses TikTok. As you can see, there are many different opinions about whether it should be banned or not. But the real question is, what do you think? I'm Ava Sikandi, and I'm here with EHS Nights News. Thanks for watching EHS Nights News. We'll see you next year.